In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, Nova Biasin test, which is used to differentiate Staph epidermidis from Staph saprophyticus. Now, yesterday I went ahead and set this up, and what I did is uh, I put, I made a lawn. On the top we have Staph epidermidis, and on the bottom we have Staph saprophyticus, and I made uh, a light lawn. And I went ahead and put a Nova Biasin disc in the center of each of the lawns. So now it's time to go ahead and read these plates. So uh, we can see the obvious zona hemolysis here on, or hemolysis inhibition here, uh, or susceptibility on the top. This is staph epidermidis. And on the bottom, we can see that we have uh, absolutely, uh, it's completely resistant. Now with the Nova Biasin test, it comes down to measuring the zone of susceptibility. And it needs to be at least 17 uh, millimeters to be considered uh, sensitive or susceptible. And, <coughs> excuse me, anything less than that will be considered resistant. So we can see here, obviously, our uh, Staph saprophyticus on the bottom is completely resistant.